federal government announced today that it is funding an 80 billion naira project to build six major hospitals across the country. Honorable Minister John Hakim says the hospitals will be the best of their kind in Africa. Very moving speech. Chai. You know, I was almost beginning to believe. You again. <laughs> yes. I am only here to remind you of your interests. So tell me, how much of this 80 billion are we chopping? We are using all of it for the hospitals. All of it? Yes, all of it. Ta! If I hear. Listen, I will not be like others, like the one that you organized a protest against. What is his name again? Uh, Garba. What is your point? Yes, him. He was exposed for stealing so much money and young people protested across the country and asked for his resignation. And guess what? He was sacked. Then what happened to him? Did he return the money? Last time I checked, Oga was flying around the world with his family in private jets and peppering us on Instagram with plenty of photos. I will not be like Garba, ever. <laughs> but you are well on your way there. I mean, look around you. Did your goodness get you all these things? Did it? All the first class trips and your children living lavishly in the abroad. I am not listening to you. I am not. And besides, all the things that you have mentioned, these are mere gifts from people who admire what I do. I got here to help my people, and I will help my people. Oh, gift, eh? So that is what you people call it now. <laughs> By the way, who told you the people want your help? Is it the same people that will turn around and sing the praises of the same people that put them in their predicament? Fair enough. But just because I have supported a few corrupt politicians does not mean that I do not deserve good things. Exactly. Ah, ah. So, when you support the few politicians and help them to avoid consequences of corruption, you deserve a share of the spoils. That is not what I meant. Oga, oh stop building imaginary hospitals and put the money in projects that will benefit the people that we care about. Buy some mosquito nets and some paracetamols. Choose a few words, paint them, and take pictures of it. We will spread it all across social media and put the remaining part of the money in a war chest to contest the next governorship election. And guess who is going to be the people's favorite governor in two years? But this project, this project is doable. I mean, not everyone has to be corrupt. I can be the difference this country needs. We just need to start building. We just need to start building. Which community will even allow you to come and do work with your contractors? Have you forgotten how many community leaders you must even settle before your buildings will go up? The people will appreciate accessible health care. Accessible health care? With which road? No, 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 no. Let me guess. You will import expensive and sophisticated uh, hospital materials. With which electricity will you want to take now? How many doctors? Is it all these doctors that have not been paid for so long? All of them are now running to the abroad. No water, no light. No road, no nothing. See this country, Oga. Our problems are too many. Only you cannot fix it. But you know another thing that we have plenty of? Money. Plenty money. <laughs> and I promise you, the same people who criticize you, they envy you. They want to be you. But this money, if I embezzle this money, they will probe me. The minister before me, the previous one, was probed. So who are they? Are they the same assembly people? They are just acting drama, Jare. Honorable minister, off your mic, off your mic. <laughs> 
I hope you know how to feign too. In case they ask you one question that you cannot answer. The people will demand justice. Yes. Some annoying people will, but most will focus on the fact that you have money and not how you made it. Get out! Minister Hakim launches his governorship campaign in his home state with the distribution of mosquito nets and paracetamol to members of his constituency. Many are saying that he is the most formidable candidate.